Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to show you guys how to do a Anna makeup tutorial. I know I'm a little bit late on doing one of these. Um, I did an Elsa one a couple, couple months back. And I did, all this week I did princess themed makeup tutorials and themed outfits. So today I did Elsa. Um, well, Monday I did Ariel, Tuesday I did Belle, Wednesday I did Cinderella, um, Thursday I did Anna, which I'm going to show you guys how to get that same look that I did on Thursday, and then today I did Elsa, um, so I just finished checking with my Elsa makeup, I had a purple eyeshadow on, so that's why this is going to be purple, let me clean it actually, um, so... Let's get started. So, uh, as I said, I already took off, took off all my makeup. So, I'm going to take some NYC primer. You can use any primer you want. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit on my fingertips since Anna's makeup is like mostly like natural makeup. Not, it's not as like bright and or as like vibrant as Elsa's is. But, um, so, I'm just going to try to replicate what she wears like on her face in the movie. It's going to be very minimal, almost like m very minimal makeup, but the lips are going to be a little bit like, brighter pink. Um, the eyes, the eyeshadow is going to be like mostly like browns and like nude colors and white and stuff. And maybe a little bit of gold and some pinky shimmery shadows. Uh, eyebrows, her eyebrows are the same as Elsa's. Or they're like very similar, but her foundation is the same as Elsa's. Um, it's some light, so I'm gonna be using that one. I'm gonna use a light foundation. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves because I don't want to get any makeup on my on my really cute shirt. So, actually, I'm gonna put on concealer first because I forgot to put on concealer this morning. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use. Um, my Wet n Wild Cover All Correcting Palette. I'm going to grab the yellow. I'm going to go ahead and go in underneath, bleh, go underneath my eyes just to cancel out all the purple colors that are in that are my um, eyes. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the green. I'm just going to go in with and put it on some of these spots where I have like little red spots. But my face is like almost like flawless right now, almost. But except for like a couple of the spots that I have. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light colored concealer and highlighter in Fair Light from Rimmel. Uh, I'm going to go in right underneath my eyes, right where, right where like the highlight on top of your cheekbone is, underneath your eyes, to cancel out the dark circles. Also, take it down the bridge of your nose, put on your forehead, just to reduce some shininess. Add a little bit on your brow bone, keep it though, and your chin. Oh, please, Thank you. So instead of just using a regular sponge, because I learned that the sponge um, absorbs more of the foundation and it doesn't give us even coverage as a brush does. I'm going to apply it and blend it all in with the brush. Oh, and this is a blending, a 
blush brush, by the way. Perfect for like underneath your eyes. I'm going to just go ahead and put on, I'm only going to put on a very little bit of my white, my lighter foundation. I'm just going to put it in the places that I did not put the highlight. I'm going to blend this in with my brush and then I'm going to go back over it with a sponge. I just went up my nose. This morning while I was doing my makeup, um, I had to sneeze, and I was finishing doing my eyelashes with the mascara, and I had not put on my waterproof mascara yet, because as you all know, I like to do my mascara in three steps. The CoverGirl Bloom, Bloom Lash, Full Bloom Lash my mascara, and then the like the new mascara that I hit you, and then this one, but I didn't put this one on yet. I was just finishing just this one putting that one on and um so I had to sneeze and I did and what I always do is I'll take like a tissue and like I'll quickly put it up like right there just to like be like that my eyes blink like that and um when after I seen my eyes got all watery and my mascara started to run and it ran on my cheek and on my underneath my, my eye. I redo my eye eyeshadow, it was like the worst. It's like so bad. So, think, so now I'm gonna go over it with my sponge. Just give it a little bit more of an even texture so it doesn't look all streaky. With the wood a little bit. And then I'm going to go right over top of it with this, just a very little bit in like the contour areas with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 125 um, Nude Beige. It was a little bit, it's like the slightest bit darker. I'm going to go over it in the contour areas where I need just a little bit of contour. Just, just to keep get, give, a, give my contour shades just a little bit more of like a base to hold on to. Because right now... I have been trying some new different makeup techniques and putting on doing like um and like doing like your contouring like after you have done your foundation is I found that to be a little bit more easier rather than to just do the powder and then just do the contouring. So plus doing this, putting the little bit dark deeper shade in the crease in the contour areas um, helps blend out the lighter foundation that I have and gives it more like a um, natural look to it. Okay, just blending it out. So, after that I'm going to take my brush again, we clean it off, just get foundation over it. Okay, 27. Okay. So, 
basically I'm just going to do very minimal contouring. So I'm going to just do a little bit of the bronzer. So let's give a little more of like a natural look. Going along the left sides of my nose, just a little bit there. I'm gonna fix my bright hole. Oh, don't fall, please don't fall. Then I'll do a little bit of the highlight. I'm going to take a little bit of the white, the little highlighter, and put just a very little bit underneath my eyes to help make my cheeks look fuller. <laughs> that gives a lot of light. Highlight. I'm going to highlight my forehead. Ridge of my nose. My brow bone. Cupid's bow. And tip of my chin. Just blend it all out. So now I'm going to take my powder that I've been using. I need to get a, I, want to, I need to get a translucent powder. Setting my contouring and stuff like that. Now Anna has that like really like bright, like really, the, um, she got really bright blush on her cheeks. So I'm gonna take a mixture of the hot pink blush here that I have, and the, um, these two, put just put them together, then tap, it's on the back of your hand, then. I'm going to do my that look on the apples of your cheeks and then brush it back just a very little bit on your cheekbone. all over my fingers now. Sooner or later I'm gonna let me quit using this light right here and yeah, I'm gonna try in the near future to get lights that come up from the ceiling and just like those, those like um lights where you can like adjust them little things. The colors like dorm lights almost. You wanna take a little bit of the pinker sheet. Sleep it like right underneath your nose. Because we're on the cold and on, it's got like that almost like frostbite look. Not really, but you know what I mean. It's got a nice pink nose. 
and high cheekbones. Okay, so now on to the eyebrows. So I'm going to start out with a little bit lighter shade first. She's got like strawberry blonde hair, which I don't have. I'm just going to start right in the, right at the beginning of my brow and just start sweeping that through. I'm going to darken it as I go, but add a little bit of like the pinky tones to get that strawberry like um, look. Strawberry blonde look. Darker. Okay, that's not my eyebrow, that is my eyelid. You just want to round it as when you get to your arch area. If you have an arch, you want to round it. I think it stick up just a little bit like Elsa's. Because Anna and Elsa's um, eyebrows are like very similar. A nice point. Go and then I'm going to take the spoolie. Where's my spoolie? Oh, here it is. It's going to go very, very lightly through it so that way you don't get what you've already created, like right here, to go away. I'm going to keep it very natural though. So after you're doing the eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and put on some eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Wet n Wild one by Fergie. Just put a little bit. I'm coming out with that. There it goes. I'm just gonna just put it there. Just put a little bit on my okay. lid and just blend it up. And like right underneath too. Yeah. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take um, my Wet n Wild single shadow in the in the color creme brulee. I'm going to take my big fluffy shadow brush. I'm going to apply this color all over, like from like the um, arch of your brow there, and on your lid, just like everywhere in your in your eye. Just to give it just this just gives it like a base for the eye uh, eyeshadows to grip onto. Yesterday I actually did have my um, hair braided, but today I don't, so that's another thing that um, I would recommend doing is braiding your hair, like parting it like from the very middle. Since I always move my bangs over, I part, always part in the middle, and then split it, and then like split it in the back, and then do braided pigtails. And to add a little bit more um, character to it, that's how you say it. Um, you can add a like either a hair clip or like um, you, know, you can dye like a big a chunk of your hair um, white to get so when the braid goes through you can see where on where Elsa had hit her when she was little in the head. That's why it's got that right there. Go to my eyes. All right, so now we are ready for the shadows. Other shadows. 
So the first thing I'm going to start off with is a little bit of contouring. So I'm going to take a little bit of my brown eyeshadow, go right in through the crease, just to create a little bit deeper crease. Or if you wanted to create a higher crease, you can just start, start going right here and just going up. So that's what I'm going to do. Just going to blend a little bit of the brown, just a very little bit of the brown up. And you can, if you want to, you can bring the shadow down to your nose, to contour your nose just a little bit. So bring that away. I am now going to take um, my contouring palette. I'm going to take the bronze color and just put it right straight on my lid on the center and on like the corner like that and blend it in with the brown so that's all from that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my other colors and I'm going to take this color, this bronzer with this melony color bronzer. I don't know why I call it a melon bronzer. I just do. Just mix the two together to create a coppery color. And go ahead and just place that right over top of the bronze color. The other um, bronzer that I've already put on there. And blend it upwards. Now I'm going to take a the same like melony color bronzer. Let's go in right underneath, right on my lash line. Oh, that's a lot of shadow. So now what you want to do is you want to take um, the pointed brush, like the smudge brush that I have, or crease brush, um, and then take, I can get back in there, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, where is it? Here it is. I'm going to take a cut more more of a coppery tone color. Um, this is from my M palette. Just this color right here. It's the Beach Life and it's got a little bit of coppery tones in it. I'm just going to put it right over top of the other bronze color, bronzer colors that I put on. Blend it into my crease. Take a little bit of the brown that's in there too. Just blend it right in there. Right in the crease. And taking that same color, I'm going to put it right below on my lower lash line. I'm 
And I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go ahead and put in the pink shimmery colors and the gold or silver. Gold. So if I can get this open. Okay, I'm going to take the tip of it, grab some of the color on it, go right on top, the top coat. like a goldish coppery color and then for the other one I'm gonna put it right in our crease no I'm gonna take this pinky color, put it right in our right in my in our eye corners just to brighten it up a little bit. Then up on my brow bone too. Okay, that's done. I'm going to take the my e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, which I've already, which has this like strawberry like brown color, strawberry blonde color. I'm gonna run it through my brows just to give it that like on a look and I'm going to go through my spoolie after I put the brow powder a little bit here I'm going to go through the spoolie very lightly. I'm just going to wipe off my hands. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two eyeliners. I'm going to take the white one first. I oh, know, not the white one, the beige one. Tan color one. And I'm going to go put this like right in my tear duct right here. So you want to put a it's a nude eyeliner. Now I'm going to take the white and go through on my waterline. To create the like cartoonish like big eyes. Now I'm going to curl my my eyelashes and get them ready for the mascara, which I'm only going to apply like two different ones. So the first one that I'm going to be applying is my Full Lash Blue Mascara from CoverGirl, and then I'm going to apply my Waterproof Mascara from Maybelline.
Now to create Anna's Rickles. So the way I found most um, interesting is I used a a blonde um, eyebrow and master eyeliner pencil and just dotted and like twisted all over my like my upper cheeks and on my nose. And then I'm gonna blend it out. Turn this off so you guys can see it. So now I wanted to take a brush that's got like a point on it and just like stipple and like blend it. Just don't rub, don't rub it. Just like stipple it. It'll blend it as it goes. And if you need to, you can add just a little bit of powder over top of it to make it look a bit more natural. So I'm going to take my big blush brush and just stipple just a very little bit to get it just blended out. Add more blush, just a very tiny bit of blush. There, then highlight. And maybe you guys can see that or not. Or like, see the freckles or not. and just blend it. Now on to the lips. So Anna has this like really light, like almost like a light pink um, lip color. So what I wanted to do to achieve that is I'm going to use a couple of different um, lip glosses and lipsticks to create that. So I'm going to just line my lips as normal with my um, lip liner. Where is it? Here it is. With my nude lip liner. So now I'm going to take just a very, very little bit of my red lip gloss. I'm just going to do a little lot at the bottom. Then I'm going to take my lip brush. Where is it? Where did you go? You are. I'm just going to blend it out. So I'm going to take a lip gloss that's like pink and coat it on my lips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a more of a nude pink lipstick. Put that right. Then I'm going to take a lip gloss that has a little bit of pink pigments in it, more orangey colors.
So then a little bit of highlight. Then I'm just going to take my big, my fluffy brush and just blend everything. Let me make sure it's looks good. And there you go. Um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed And also leave me a comment down below on which Disney princess you would like me to do a tutorial on. And also leave a comment down below telling me you guys, if you guys did enjoy. And also be sure to hit subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!